Jugular venous pulse is perhaps one of the few cardiovascular signs which still has clinical relevance in the era of uh, advanced diagnostics and imaging. It will be nice if you go through the uh, video on anatomical aspects of jugular venous pulse before viewing this video for better understanding of the clinical steps which is going to be explained. Now the first step is to appropriately position the patient at uh, 45 degree as shown in the picture there. The neck has to be completely rested. In other words, the patient should not be holding the neck by themselves or improperly supported by the examiner's hand. Whatever support you give on the back of the neck, still the neck relaxation will not be adequate. So the head has to be comfortably rested on a pillow or in a soft mattress. Then you need to slightly turn the head to the left. Ideal if the head is kept straight, but it may be difficult for you to visualize it going close to the patient. So you can gently turn to the left, not too much because turning the neck to the left too much will compress the sternomastoid and hence it may actually obstruct the pulsations of the internal jugular vein. So the neck has to be slightly turned to the left. Eliminate and see for the pulsation always. This is a principle in cardiovascular medicine. Pulsations are seen with a tangential elimination as it is shown in the diagram. So once you have appropriately positioned the patient, head slightly turned to the left and you have eliminated it tangentially. Look for the pulsation as I have already described in the anatomy video, pulsation between the two heads of sternomastoid, the triangle which I had shown in the anatomy video. Now if it is not seen there properly or if a fullness is seen there, you can go about and look for the pulsation transmitted through the sternomastoid muscle up to the angle of the mandible. So the position actually depends on how, how higher is the pulsation. Higher the pulsation, it is sometimes difficult to really appreciate because the triangle will be just full. And identify the highest point of pulsation to know the extent to which the JVP is elevated. Though I am not very much in favor of identifying the type of waveforms in JVP because it has very less clinical value in the era of um, echocardiography as a routine tool used to assess cardiac function, it's better you understand the rational behind these uh, waveforms which can be found in the video on JVP waveforms. Do give your opinion to the email ID mentioned there.